are in a state of emergency. Prejudice. Prejudice. Wrote a song about it? Like to hear it? Here it go. Free your mind. I keep it real. What dear? Cause I keeps it real like that. I keeps it real. <laughs> right. Um, everywhere I comment, they want me to know I love the minister. I love his him. I don't talk about the minister. I love him. He. Look, there's a line that you cross between appreciation and infatuation. I'm going to say that again. There's a line between appreciation and infatuation. I have, I have appreciation for the talents of my sister. I do not have an infatuation. This is the only poster that I have. I listen to a little of that music and all that type of stuff, but I don't think about in vogue and all that. I, it ain't that serious. I met Terry at a concert. I kissed her hand or whatever. So what? Big deal. Now, for some people, oh, I, I, I kissed Terry Ellis in vogue. I, I met Michael Jackson. Uh, so what? So? She's nothing but a human being. They're nothing but a human being. They're not better than me. What am I going to be infatuated about? Nothing to be infatuated. So. One of my favorite entertainers, I wish I had an opportunity to meet him, was Soul Brother Michael Jackson. And I listen and, and dig Michael way more than Invo. Michael, Michael Jackson is, 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 is the brother. But if I met Michael, it's just, I appreciate your music. It's not an infatuation. But when it comes to these religious figures, and even some of these entertainers, 
there's a line that's crossed from appreciation to infatuation. So when they say they love the minister, it's not appreciation. It's, it's fanaticalism. They become fanatics. This is a, it's a sick obsession with a person because they can sing, because they can teach, or whatever they're doing. They become fan. That's where the word fan, fan come from. A person is fanatical. Now, you know that don't make any sense. Here, here's Michael Jackson and all these people hollering and screaming and falling out. Now, you don't know. Now, if it was me, I'd just be just calmly waiting for Michael to talk or calmly waiting for Michael to uh, sing and clap now and then or whatever because I'm not, a, I'm not fanatical. I can take it or leave it, but a fan cannot take it or leave it. They are obsessed, just like a drug addict, like we talked before. A heroin, crack, meth fiend. They got to have more. You got people that might be a fan of Invo. Everything in their house is about Invo. The Terry room, the Cindy room, the Rona room, the Dawn room, the Maxine room. They got Invo pictures all in their car everywhere. They become fanatical. And if you say that Invo cannot sing, they might kill you over it. And that's how they treat the Honorable Mr. Louis Farrakhan. They fanatical. That's why Malcolm X was murdered, because they was fanatical, obsessed with this religious figure. Don't you talk about my messenger. And they murdered that man because they're fanatics. And that is a sickness because you should never want to see or treat somebody higher than yourself. Michael Jackson is not higher than me. In Vogue is not higher than me, better than, more special than me. I do not want none of you out there in YouTube land and Facebook land out there. Never think that I'm smarter and better than you. Never. Because I'm not. And you should not allow that. Don't put my pictures on your wall. Why you want to put my that why you want to put my picture on your wall anyway? I'm just curious. But that's fanatical. And plus, me myself, I have a problem with putting men on my wall. I don't like that. That's yeah, I don't, I don't like that feeling. My brother, uh, my grandfather, uh, certain people like that, men, I might, I might put on my wall. I really don't like uh, I, men on my, I, I don't like that. That's sort of, uh, I don't like that. But you have all these men. They got Elijah Muhammad, Marcus Garvey. <laughs> <laughs> you have they got my, all these men now they might put a woman somewhere in the corner somewhere but they got to make sure they, they put the Farrakhan, Marcus Garvey Marcus Garvey uh, 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 Dr. King they got to put men this is men who want men on the wall and then they turn around and talk about the LBGQ community or whatever, the gay community or whatever, what do you think you're doing? And when you see them, they always talking, it's about men. It's always around about men. That, that's, eh. I got to have, I got to have her around me somewhere. I, I can't do it. I never like being around men like that. I just, it bothers me. You're a cool brother. I like you. You know, we get along, whatever. I, yeah. And then some of these brothers, I like you and everything. I don't want to talk to you for, for, for hours. And, and Now, if we have not talked for a long time, yeah, an hour. I might give you an hour, but I'm not, I don't like talking to men like that. I just, I can't do that. I feel funny. I don't like talking to men like that. I don't like your, your voice. 
yeah, you don't do nothing for me. You know, say what you got to say and hang up. Thanks, brother. Let's keep up the fight. What are we going to do tomorrow? Now, if we're talking about taking control of the state of Mississippi, I will talk for 24 hours to men. What's the plan, brother? How are we going to do this? Would you, you ready to do something? Let's, what are we going to do? But the only thing you want to do, brother, how you how you feeling today? What what you doing today? You know, you know, I, you know, I, I'm fine. Um, what, what what you want? What you you know? Come to the live stream. Come to the live stream and talk. I don't I don't want to talk to men for hours and hours. I just and a lot of these brothers, I tell them up front. And any of these brothers who have talked to me. They will tell you, I told them up front. I don't talk to men like that. I just don't. I don't, I don't do that. It's just, it's not, it's not me. Now, if you want to, if you doing something, I, I'll talk to you for 24 hours. If you want to take control of the state of Mississippi and you really want to do something, but you want to talk about how's the weather in St. Louis? <laughs> What <laughs> is that? Do you do you have a do you have a Popeyes chicken in your area? Uh, are you lonely or something? <laughs> I don't talk to men like that. I talk to men like that if we taking care of business. I don't want to talk about the weather. I don't want to talk about my shoe size. And all that type of stuff. I don't talk to, to, to brothers like that. You cool, nice conversation. I'm glad you you support the channel. I'm glad you donated to the fundraiser, or whatever. I don't talk to men like that. I just don't. Men take care of business. That's what I want to do. I want to take care of business. You're not telling me something that can take care of this business, the Mississippi campaign. What are we talking about? Going to Disneyland to see Mickey Mouse or something. I don't want to talk to you about that. Your voice is hard. I do not want. <laughs> I do not want to. Uh, I don't want to. I don't talk to men like that. I just don't. Not the person. I just don't. Never have. I don't do that. And this is the last thing that I want to say before we. Uh, Going, you know, we did three hours. Wow. <clears throat> this is the last thing that I want to say before we close this uh, program out. <clears throat> um, the dark skin. And I wish I could have got my sister, uh, Rashida Strober, because she's the dark skin activist. I wanted to get her. Uh, when I decided to talk, maybe I will talk about this when I uh, when I can 